So here's my installation of the night. On my uh, Will McLean boiler here. Single feed from the tank, feeding off the top. Um, since we moved in 10 years ago, we've had constant problems with uh, air getting into the fuel, like becoming aerated, or to the point where we'd shut the boiler down and I'd have to bleed it out. And all the stuff, all the number two I'd bleed was like frothy white uh, foam. So, um, what I ended up doing was buying this thing, it's called a Tiger Loop. Uh, it's very similar to a carburetor float. The white thing in there is the actual float and there's a needle and a seat in there that uh, allows it to maintain a certain level uh, in this thing. Um, problem that I ran into was whoever installed this setup into the house never put a shut off on the feed line coming into the house so those uh, corks there were my shut off pretty much loosened it up and jammed a cork in it while I did this installation it wasn't terrible I was more worried about number two being everywhere which it still kinda ended up everywhere but wasn't terrible anyways there's uh what originally was set up was this top port here uh, this this whole length section here threaded in to this top port and um, there was just a plug on this bottom port here as you can see uh, I removed the plug um, now what we had to do is thread this bypass plug up into the hole before you threaded that fitting in there and uh, then all I did was bend this copper line with this flare at the end of it threaded this whole program into the tiger loop as you can see here uh, obviously the filters there so the number two comes in through the filter um, and up and through here um, you know the pump sucks it up through and then uh, you know just a, a continuous loop here um, right away I was kind of impressed that uh, I didn't have to prime anything I just turned the boiler on and you could watch the air bubbles being bled out through here so I didn't even have to prime it all I did honestly was turn it on it kind of self primed and self bled and fired right up and um, now it's just maintaining so anytime air gets in the system um, it'll be bled out up into this little chamber here and uh, won't shut my boiler down if we go away or in the middle of the night and wake up to cold water and a uh, cold house so hopefully this solves some of it um, you can see I got my paper towels down on the floor right now just to make sure that nothing is dripping or leaking but so far so good um, this is the install of the Tiger Loop on a uh, oil forced boiler